so welcome back to my channel I am in Mesa Arizona and all right so I am going to a neighborhood called Las Sendas and I believe it's like a, a plan a master plan community it's they have a golf course they have a view of the red mountain and it's, it's really nice and it's um, very popular here in Mesa a lot of people choose to live there uh, because of beautiful views I believe the homes there are I would say a reasonable home between the th uh, 300 and up depending on what you're looking for but um, I see some apartments here on my left. I feel like all I've been doing is turning, turning. As you can see, it's really the desert life here. Take right onto North Desert Oasis. North Desert Oasis Circle. Then you'll arrive at your destination. Um, of course it's gated. What was I thinking? <laughs> Everything is gated here, uh, so I can't really go inside the neighborhoods, unfortunately. So, I want to eat two half an idea. Let's try to drive closer to the mountain. There's an area here called Red Mountain. Maybe we'll take a drive there. How about uh, Red Mountain? Where is that? Do you see people walking here because the weather's been really nice, you know, well, okay, really nice. Well, it's kind of cold, really, in the morning for cold. We get in the 40s early in the morning right now, and now I want to say it's about 60-something degrees, probably. So, I think they have the golf course up there. I guess everyone is going hiking. And clearly I don't have a coat of like gate or anything, so. But there's like trail that you follow through that open, the open opening and you can go hiking. That's kind of cool, man. Just for the hiking, I will buy a house here. So you see there's like a little door there that's where they're going to to get into find the hiking trail so i guess if you don't necessarily leave on that area you can still go hike oh my god this is super nice <laughs> you know i'm not like a big fan of mesa but guys <laughs> y'all know how much i love hiking and they have a lot of homes for sale hmm. Oh, hi guys. I really haven't seen my beautiful face in a while. Now, Boeing is only five minutes from this neighborhood called Las Sendas. And so one day I was just kind of doing some research online on nice neighborhoods in Mesa. And this neighborhood kept coming up. Now, as I mentioned, these over there, these homes are probably like a million dollars because they're so close to the mountain. You know, but th so the further down you go, as I mentioned, there are some cheaper homes that start, you know, 300 and up. Oh gosh, it's really nice. I've always dreamed uh, of living in a neighborhood where I just literally walk out my door and I can go hike. <laughs> but I don't think Mesa will be it, though. I, I don't think I would ever live here. Uh, yeah, so uh, some of you are probably wondering, wow, now that, because um, both my husband and I will be more working at Boeing, so what does that mean? Are we gonna stay in Goodyear? Which it takes me about, it's about an hour and 15 minutes with traffic. Without traffic whatsoever, it's a straight 50 minute drive or maybe 45, you can make it if you speed. But it is quite a drive and now that you know we have kids that are starting school, so we're really starting to question, you know, staying in Goodyear for the long run. And I'm such an advocate for the West Valley. So, I mean, that's something that we'll be, you know, seeing how it goes with my new job, seeing how I like it first before, you know, making any drastic decisions. So, but for now, I mean, we're, we're still in Goodyear. And uh, I guess I'll be doing more videos in the East Valley now that, that I'll be working in the East Valley. So right today I'm doing Mesa. Hopefully I'll do Gilbert next time. And my hope was, my, my goal was also to do Awatuki because I love Awatuki. That's actually one place I would live if I had to choose in the East Valley. All right, guys, 
Let's keep it going. There's a gorgeous view on my left. And I want to find somewhere to park so I can show you. It's really nice. So there was like a really nice view on my left. It was like a view of Mesa, Mesa, because I'm all the way at the top now. So anyway, so uh, the further up you go up the mountain, the more expensive it will be. I believe these homes are at least a million dollars. The homes on my right, they're at least a million dollars, at least. And so the further down you go, the, the less expensive they are because those are not really customs. You have your your typical cookie cutter Arizona homes. And like I said, I believe prices start in the 300s. So I hear some of the schools are pretty good, but in my opinion, I don't think that they're as good as Kyrian District, which is in Tempe slash Awatuki, or Chandler and Gilbert, or Litchfield District, the, the best district in the West Valley is Litchfield. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is Last Sendas. Wow. What a view. Y'all should see the mountain behind me. I can't show it to you, but this is amazing. People are biking. <laughs> and that's the Red Mountain up ahead. I don't really know what else is ahead. So I, I don't want to keep going and get lost. So I might just turn around. Um, thank you for hanging out with me today. Really had a great time showing you Mesa. Um, Mesa turned out to be actually better than what I imagined. Uh, Las Sendas neighborhood is really nice. I hate to say this, but I could see myself living there, but I don't know if I ever would. Uh, it's a great neighborhood for people who like the outdoors, who like to hike, so make sure when you come in town that you go and pay them a visit. And I think that you will really enjoy. So once again, thanks. Make sure you thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Oh, Please guys, make sure you comment and tell me where do you live and how far is, it, is your commute from work. So where do you live, where do you work, how far is your commute, how far is too far. <laughs> Alright, bye bye.